Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this. Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh... Jesse! <gasps> What to choose? So long as you really know what you're doing with it. tracks now time to move buddy let's go i never doubted you for a second but but that was incredible maybe we have a chance of getting to eligard after all look there's the sign redstonia redstonia here we come about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat>
I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Jessie, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, uh, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. I'm here to reassemble the Order, all right? You know the Order? Eligard's old gang? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. No way. Gabriel gave this amulet to me. No way am I parting with it. Well, fine then. I don't have time for this. I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shore. Some people say I lack modesty. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do, but will I share it with you? <laughs> no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here. And you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Hi! Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. 
Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That little... Uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people? Guess I just call him like I see him. Ooh, you are just... Uh. Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. Redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. Yeah, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Any idea what all this does? Well, it's clearly taking all of these materials and doing something with them, but I'm not sure what yet. But boy, am I gonna find out. Come on, let's keep moving.
That's awesome. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency. Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. Guess oh. that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable <laughs> pig, that is. <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you. Goggle girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. <laughs> wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh, oh, so embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on! Big winner, big winner, big... Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three, uh, your friend here, does she fall over frequently? Is this going to be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I, I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew. Kind of glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so... Why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant wither storm and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block, capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. You're trying to make a command block. Let me help you. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. We've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. 
world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. Ugh, sorry to bust your circuits, but the Order isn't really together anymore. We, uh, sort of disassembled. That's actually kind of why we're here. Gabriel's amulet. This certainly changes things. Haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yes, he gave it to me to find the order. It's how we found you. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Ah! Uh, 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 uh. 